I'm going to be highlighting four different ways you are brushing your teeth too hard and how it can be affecting you and how you can provide a good remedy. So don't go anywhere, we're going to walk through this together. beautiful people thank you so much for joining me today for watching this video for coming down to my channel I really 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 appreciate it okay so today we're going to be giving ourselves a little pep talk and it's about how often not how often how hard you brush your teeth because if you brush your teeth too hard there are consequences to it of course I know that there are many reasons why we want to brush our teeth very hard apply pressure and all that but guys you don't need to apply so much pressure on your pearly white because it's going to affect you I know many of us think that if we apply a lot of pressure in brushing our teeth it's going to help us remove tartar remove plaque and all those like gum um, things in our teeth like food and all that the truth is you can actually use a piece of cloth or like a cotton wool to brush your teeth and I'm sure many of us will be like now nah, will this remove it you don't need to apply so much pressure so most times even when you use like very hard toothbrush it can like damage your gums and it can even like make your gums start bleeding which you really do not want so guys I'm going to be highlighting four different ways you are brushing your teeth too hard and how it can be a affecting you and how you can provide a good remedy so don't go anywhere we're going to walk through this together so one of the first reasons or the first way you know you're brushing too hard is when your gum starts receding like it's when your teeth start separating from your gums your gums and your teeth are like supposed to be like equal it's not like your teeth will be gaping and to start showing more than the gums when your gums start receding that's like a sign for you to be concerned and you should watch how you brush your teeth so that you don't like damage your gums in the process your gums are as important as your teeth and you don't want to do without one while saving the other so each and every one of our teeth is protected by enamel which can be severely harmed by overbrushing and by arming your enamel our gums can start to recede exposing the roots of our teeth to great danger according to dentists about 10 to 20 percent of people have damaged their gums due to overbrushing and this is something that can be easily remedied so watch the way you brush your teeth and try to provide a good remedy the remedy is just to simply stop brushing too hard and too often so that you don't expose the roots of your teeth to like germs and things that can harm your teeth in the process the second way you can know that you're brushing your teeth too hard Hard is when your teeth starts feeling sensitive I know some of us we started feeling like sensitivity of teeth like a lot longer like you might not have noticed it when you're younger how come you're noticing it now when you're old sensitivity of teeth comes about like maybe when you take cold drinks when you take some certain foods when you take like foods that are acidic when you take um, fizzy drinks or anything anything can trigger sensitive teeth and like that's when you start feeling that kind of ache in your teeth and your teeth start Start chattering I have had my own share of sensitive teeth and I had to start using sensitive paste to combat it but guys there are many reasons why you can have sensitive teeth I'm not just overruling it to, to overbrushing but of course overbrushing can be one of the reasons because by the time you damage your enamel what are you left with you've like removed the outer layer that's supposed to protect you and doing that you remove the outer layer that is supposed to be protecting your teeth and doing that goodness it leads to sensitivity of teeth and what's the remedy don't overbrush your teeth little does it okay another way you know you're overbrushing your teeth is let's say of course dentists have advised us to change our toothbrush every three months i don't even wait for three months when i just feel that it's ready i'm ready to let go i let it go but sometimes even after one week or after some days some of our toothbrushes starts looking frayed and really worn out one sign is that you're overbrushing your teeth you're using the brush too vigorously and that way you just know that you're overbrushing your teeth by the time you know yourself that you bought like a very good brand of toothbrush of course there are like some standard toothbrushes that 
even from the first day it might not work but let's say you've invested in a good brand a brand that is supposedly supposed to last and from like the first to third day you're seeing that it's looking frayed or looking worn out already that's a sign for you to know that you're over brushing your teeth you're overworking the toothbrush and at the same time you're applying so much pressure to your little pearly white which you shouldn't so step it down a little bit don't over brush that way you keep your teeth safe another way you can know that you are applying so much pressure and brushing your teeth is when the teeth around your gums like in the front of your teeth it starts looking like dark that basically means that the enamel has like worn off and the root has been exposed to so many things that is one sign for you to know that you are over brushing your teeth that means that your gums are not protected by any enamel your gum starts receding the teeth underneath starts showing a yellow or a darker color so like i said the first thing you need to do is you have to talk to yourself within and stop all these things that make your teeth over brushed so what are the possible solutions you can do when you notice that you've been over brushing your teeth first thing you need to do is replace your toothbrush and make sure you're using a soft toothbrush like i said it's not the amount of pressure but just making sure you take enough time to clean your teeth within and without use a softer brush with softer bristles so that you don't harm your teeth Secondly, you can use electric toothbrush. Most times when you're applying so much pressure to your teeth, your electric toothbrush will warn you and to keep things at bay. And because it's electric, you like, you don't have that control of like brushing vigorously. You just go softly and you're allowing the toothbrush to do the job. So for me, I would advise you if you can to get an electric toothbrush. Another thing you can do is to use your less dominant hand. So if your dominant hand is your right, I would advise you to use your left. That way, you know, the way it is, you're like struggling. And that way you won't apply so much pressure as when you're using your dominant hand. And lastly, check to see if your paste itself is not abrasive it's not high abrasive make sure that it is low there are some paste that contain a lot of like sodium chloride more than necessary for your teeth there are so many brands out there our advice is to check the one that will help you because apart from even your toothbrush your paste too can be the issue so you want to make sure that both your toothbrush and your paste are like at the same level it's not going to harm you it's not going to hurt you in any way so guys this is my talk for today my tip for today if you enjoyed this video or you think this video made sense kindly thumbs up kindly drop a comment let me know if you have any other thing you would like to let us know so that we can all learn together so that i can also learn as well if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll love for you to come back again and again thank you so much stay beautiful and stay healthy bye